Hi, this is Dave from GadgetHelpline.com and today we're going to go through a quick unboxing and a first time setup guide to the new Google and Asus Nexus 7. So it's a pretty small box, it's a 7 inch tablet, nothing over the top. Uh, thankfully we've mastered the art already with a bit of practice of unpackaging it. Um, we've seen a lot of people have a bit of issue already. Uh, so slide it out of there and then if you flip it over, you've got two stickers, just cut these with a knife, we've already gone ahead and done it just to save a bit of time there. So if we slide off the lid, which is again another tricky stage, we'll pop that there. And there we have the Asus and Google Nexus 7, tablet in all its glory, covered in cellophane to keep it nice and neat. I'm going to take a look at that in just a second, if you can wait that long. And we're going to take a look inside what's in the box. So, it's got a main centre compartment here. There's nothing here, just for show. I'm just going to pop that out of the way. And we'll just take a look at what accessories you get. So, just open that up there. That's already fallen out. We've got the micro USB cable, charging and sync with the PC, pretty standard. Um, we've got a three pin adapter, if you can see that there, which charges it up from the mains with the micro USB cable. And um, we've also got, what have we got here? Warranty information and a quick start guide. As is pretty standard with gadgets these days, you get barely anything in terms of instructions. You just get sort of a guide to the buttons and what's in the box. They seem to think that you know how to use Android, which hopefully you already do. And uh, what else have we got in here? Something else hiding in the bottom. Okay. Nice to get that out. And there we have another part of the uh, plug, which slots together like that. And then the USB cable goes into that. So it's a three-part charging system, and you get no headphones in the box, which is a bit of a shame, but it is a pretty cheap tablet. So. Let's take a look at the Nexus 7. So we're just going to take off the cellophane. It's unfortunately a little trickier than you might think. If we take a look on the back here, we've got Asus branding as they made the tablet, and then Nexus, which is Google's range for flagship devices such as the Galaxy Nexus and the Nexus S. If we turn it over onto the front, we can see the tablet. So it can be held in portrait or landscape. It's a nice seven inch tablet. It's a nice glossy finish to the front. And there's a tough, tough cover. It's not Gorilla Glass as far as we're aware, but it's tough and it should be scratch resistant. On the side here, we've got volume up and down, which are quite soft touch buttons, which is pretty nice. And a power button there. We've got the speaker at the bottom, if you can just see that there and the 3.5mm headphone jack and the micro USB for connecting and charging. There's also a magnetic dock connector there. I don't think there are any products out at the moment that are designed to use that, but once they do, you should be able to just dock it in, make the connection and charge it or sync. So what we're going to do, turn it on, we're going to hold the power button there. Okay, so we're just going to take you through the first time setup um, of the Google Nexus 7. Obviously there are going to be some of you out there Android fans who have gone through countless setups on smartphones and tablets before, but this is for the people who aren't too sure of the setup, and for those who want to have a have a look at the setup of Jelly Bean, the new software. So at the moment we've got the pulsating Nexus logo, which Google tends to put on the startup of all of its flagship products, usually made by Samsung, but in this instance by Asus, and it's just going to take us into the first time setup in just a second. And while we're just waiting for that to go through, I'm just going to run through the specs. So we've got the HD 7-inch IPS screen, which uh, is going to give you a great viewing angle, bright and crisp colours. You've got the camera at the front there for front-facing, uh, for video calls, and you've got the quad-core NVIDIA Tegra 3 processor inside. Uh, this model is 8 gigabytes of memory. You can also get a 16 gigabyte version. Unfortunately, there's no room for expansion. There's no micro SD card slot or anything like that. And if you look around the edges, there's only a headphone socket and a micro USB port. There's nothing to connect it to a TV or anything like that. So now we're into the setup. We're going to choose our language and location. So we're English United Kingdom and we're going to continue. And the next stage is to connect to Wi-Fi. And it's worth noting that uh, while we just connect here, at this point, you do have to connect to a Wi-Fi network. It's not possible to set up this device without connectivity to a Wi-Fi network, which we can appreciate. It's going to be a pain for those of you who maybe bought it in the shops, nipped out and you want to get and use it straight away. 
uh, or if you're using it at work and you have to give the information for the device to the Wi-Fi administrator. But um, fortunately, we've got connection straight on there, and the next part is connecting to Google. Uh, so this is a Gmail or Google Mail account, and this is for the store. Okay, so we're going to sign into our Google account here now. Uh, so just one second, and we're going to type that in. And there we go, we've got that entered in there, and we're signing in. So it's nice and quick, as I'm sure you probably heard from the keyboard clicks. It's very responsive and very fast to type on this device as well. So if you've already got a Google account, you've just set one up. You've got the option to restore apps and purchases um, if you've used an Android device with it before, and also to back up any purchases you make on this device. So we'd recommend to keep both of those ticked as they already are, and then hit the play icon to continue, and it's going to restore. This may take up to five minutes, depending on your Wi-Fi connectivity, and if you've got lots of apps on there to restore. And the next stage is Google Location. So again, we've got both of these ticked here. It's not a problem to have them both ticked, but if you don't want the GPS to be running, perhaps to preserve battery, um, then untick those. And we're going to continue to the next stage. And it's just continuing through the setup. So that's it. The setup's complete. I'm sure you might have noticed it's a few stages less than some Android devices. It's quite nice and quick to set up, although we think it's a bit of a pain that you can't skip the Wi-Fi connectivity. It's a bit of a shame. So we're into the home screen now. And... Uh, Google is uh, pointing out to us that we've got purchases there and introducing us to the home screen. So this is what you'll see when you turn on your device, when you turn on your Nexus 7. This is the home screen of Jelly Bean in its purest form. There's no extras from the likes of Samsung or HTC or even Asus who helped make it. It's just plain Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. And you've got um, plenty of recommendations to go to the Play Store and download music and apps. And along the bottom here you've got Google Apps. So from right to left we've got the Play Store, Google Music, Google Movies, the uh, launcher for the apps menu, and Google Books, Google Chrome, and a folder with all of the other Google applications. So there's not a great deal different uh, on here from any other manufacturer. You've just got standard Google Apps and that's what a lot of people like. So this is Jelly Bean. Just going to give a quick run through. You've got your apps here, you've got your widgets, everything standard Google, of course, ready for you to customize with your own apps, your own themes, pictures, and wallpapers, and things like that. So, that is the Google and Asus Nexus 7 unboxing and first time setup. And stay tuned for a review, a full review coming very soon for the device. And don't forget to uh, log on to the blog for the latest gadget news and videos. Thanks for watching.